Welcome to The Dress. In this series, I share with you two dress brands that I love and one dress brand that I want to try. So this dress is from Antonio Milani. I, this is a brand that you can typically find in Dillard's. I don't know if it is sold anywhere else, but this dress, I love this. This is a nice paisley um, print. So many different colors. I love this. This just screams spring, summer. But I might wear it in the fall if I can pull it off. We'll see. This, I love the buttons, this belt. It's a good length. It's a mini, but it's the kind of mini I like where it's a little bit above my knee, but not too short. If you can see the back, like I said, it's a mini, but you can't see any butt or anything. It's the perfect length. And just so you guys know, I'm 5'2". This dress is 100% cotton. I love the craftsmanship. If you can see the buttons, how it has the same print as the rest of the dress. Chef's kiss. And of course, we have a belt. I always love a belt. A belt cinches in your waist. It breaks up your body. It creates a different shape. So, love that. The beautiful thing about this dress is not just the craftsmanship or that it's 100% cotton, but the story behind it. So my husband bought me this dress and the cool thing is some months ago, probably like in February, I tried this dress on in Dillard's. So I sent him a couple of pictures and was like, what do you think? He was like, it's, um, you know, I like it. It's really cute. It looks cute on you. But I didn't purchase it then because I was really shopping for another event in which this was inappropriate. It was too short. So fast forward to this month and he brings me this from Dillard's. Here's the packaging that it came in. And you can see the D's for Dillard's. <laughs> and so I'm like, what is this? And when I open it up, I'm like, oh my gosh, you got me. I, it was on the back of my brain to buy, but I just hadn't purchased it yet. So the fact that he like saved the picture and then got it for me was a total surprise. So I love that. So on top of the dress, being a dress that I actually like now that I wear, I have fond memories of how my husband bought the dress for me. So that's just something for my single friends out there in YouTube world to think about. Even if you're not a gift person, like gifts is my second love language. So quality time is number one, receiving gifts is number two. Make sure you find a man who wants to make you happy. And even if he's not always successful, the fact that he attempts to make you happy means that he will be successful the majority of the time. So just That's just a tip from your married girlfriend to my single girlfriends out there. Antonio Milani, you guys know I always have my notes. So Antonio Milani would be described as curated high-end collection that evokes sophistication through tailoring. And it stays current though because of the way it's styled and its attitude. The brand caters to the modern career and social um, schedule with an emphasis on luxury fabrications. And I can say that's true because Dillard's is a southern, I would say it's a southern based um, a department store that has several different brands and Antonio Milani if I'm not mistaken I believe is pretty much exclusive to Dillard's. I haven't seen it anywhere else. They just have a different level of sophistication. They have a lot of suits, a lot of um, skirt suits, pants suits. One of the things that I really like about Antonio Milani is that they partnership with different influencers so you can get a different look to their items. So they do things that's for the more career women, but they also do some things for someone who's sophisticated or maybe like when you're off duty. This particular dress is a size 12. It's on sale currently. So I will link it down below so you can check it out if you would like. I have it on with these flats, these ballet flats from Tory Burch. You know, I love these. These are a loafer and ballet flat mixed. I have on this clutch from Target, Bond DV studs. So this is just a casual way to wear this dress. If you have a print, you can pull out colors that are inside the print. 
and that gives you a cool look. So you're still playing with color. These sunglasses are from Chloe. I love these sunglasses. And they already have a 70s glam vibe. So this just creates a whole 70s glam look. You're watching this and you're thinking I don't want to play with too much color because this dress itself has so much print and I don't really know if I want to add color on top of a print well instead of doing that you can always go with a neutral so, see how we look we have one of our neutral colored shoes with all of our neutral colored accessories and so we still look very cute flirty and this tones down the look versus when we have our those hot pink pumps from Michael Kors that give a more poppy, colorful look. So this next brand that I love is Pose the Label. Pose the Label is an Australian based brand and I'm gonna tell you some things about their qualities. Okay, so Pose the Label is an Australian based brand it's a movement redefining vintage for the modern day woman, empowering her to feel confident and effortlessly embrace her femininity. And of course, you know, femininity is something I'm about. If you're not new to this channel, my personal style is, I would describe it as feminine, glamorous, and refined. Those exudes a sense of irreplaceability and understated elegance with each garment designed to hold a permanent presence in your wardrobe. And I love that because part of the whole point of finding what your personal style is, is buying quality items so that you can curate your wardrobe. And once you buy items that you actually like that fit your personal style, instead of just what's on trend, then you will keep items in your closet a lot longer. You'd be surprised. I've had this particular dress going on three years. I love this dress. It's so old, I don't remember the name of it. This is a yellow sundress from Pose the Label. Has these straps here, so you have to wear a strapless bra. Unfortunately, you can see my bra in the back, so I apologize, but there's a bow right here. And if you tie it up correctly, um, you won't be able to see the bra in the back. But if you feel a little self-conscious about it, you can wear a bandeau with this. And because of the neckline, this is just a regular like square neckline, you won't be able to see the bandeau because I've worn it like that as well. So I love this. It's maxi, it's 100% cotton. I also have a pink one. It's the same style dress, but pink, but it's currently in the dry cleaners. So I like to buy, as you guys know, fiber contents that are natural fiber contents. So when something is cotton, I love it. So now it's it's close to June. Tomorrow will be June 1st. So I like in the summertime cottons, silks, and linens. So this is 100% cotton. It's nice. It's breezy. When you sweat, it'll like soak it up, wick it up. If you, you know, hopefully don't sweat a lot, but come on, in the summertime we kind of sweat. So I love this. You can wear this several different ways. You can dress it up or down. In addition, you know, the hoes, they adopt a less is more philosophy and consider themselves a slow fashion brand. So, if you are into slow fashion or you want to discover more slow fashion brands, then Pose the Label is a brand that you should definitely check out. That's one of the things about buying an item that's of good quality. You can not only wear it for years to come but if you master how you like to style things then you can wear it several different ways and not get tired of it so here's a way to dress it up i have on the same accessories that i had in a previous outfit and part of that is because obviously i'm showing you my wardrobe so it's things that i actually wear on a daily basis but i also like to show you that you don't have to have too many like you don't have to have a lot of something in order to still give your looks the look that you would want. In Bon Levy earrings. Now, 
I have the glasses, same Chloe sunglasses. And the same clutch. So I can wear this bag. This is a little bag. This is a crochet bag from the Faneuil Well collection at Target. It's just a cute little crochet bag. <laughs> so because the hat has brown, the bag has brown, it works. This is to me like a very, I want to wear heels, but I still want to be casual. So the dress from Post Label I would get is the Abby dress. It's in this buttermilk color, so instead of this color yellow that I have, which is a more bright yellow, this is a pale yellow. This is so cute. It's $329. Now I do have to say, I bought my dresses years ago, at least three years ago now. So I believe Pose the Label is the kind of brand that is a little bit more fitted. So I'm a US 10 to 12. So you should probably get an extra large if you are that um, size, the same size as me. So this dress is strapless and it's just so cute. It's 100%, well no, excuse me, it's 52% cotton, 48% viscose. It's lined, which I love in dresses. If a dress is lined, um, not only is that good quality, but they typically last longer. And as you can see, they have it styled several different ways. You see how it looks from the back. It has a nice shared um, detail. So it's a bodice that has piping on it. That is A1. Of course, a straw bag for the summertime. And you can see more looks on how it looks on the model. So she's wearing it very casually. They styled it casually with these flip-flops, other flip-flops. But you can also wear this with some heels, whether you want to wear pumps or a lace-up stiletto it's endless you can either wear a cropped linen jacket with this or a long duster to go with this i actually have an orange duster that i would wear with this orange and yellow they're next to each other on the color wheel so a1 combination the next dress that i would get from clothes the label is this you guys know i love a white and ivory dress I, white is my second favorite color. Blue is my first. White is my second. And in the spring and summertime, you can't go wrong with an ivory or white dress. So this dress is the Kinsey. It's an antique white. So it's going to be more of a, not a stark white, but it's going to be, and not quite an ivory. It's hard to explain. More like a porcelain color, I would say. It's $299. I love the way this looks. It laces up in the back. So the front, you won't see any boobs. It's nice and modest. The back is a little flirty. It's a lace-up back. It's 100% cotton. Again, it's lined, as mo many pulls label dresses are, including this one. It has a um, underline, um, underlay, so it's lined as well, which helps because we know with these kind of dresses, you might want to wear certain underwear that don't have lines. We don't want any penny lines. So we need to have linings that you can't see through good what's going on. So look, I love this. Look at how the model looks. And again, the same accessories as in a previous, as in was previous style, previously styled. Thanks babe. Again, the same accessories as the previous dress was styled so it's like I mentioned to you earlier you don't have to have several accessories you just have to have some accessories that you know how to style with several different things that's how it looks from the side and again as mentioned I'm a size 10 to 12 so an extra large like this dress is a large but I have another style dress that is a large from pose a label which does not fit in the breast so I would say if you're a 10 or 12 like me, extra large is the way to go. But again, they do have a size guide on the website. So this next brand that I want to try is Faithful the brand. I, I don't even know how I came across this brand, Faithful the brand. 
I think I saw them on Moda Operande and they're not a really expensive brand but I mean everything is so good they have pants as well tops linen now that it's the spring summertime they have their linen a lot of linen things so faithful the brand was founded in 2014 by sarah jane abrams and uh health and anger i think that's how you pronounce the name in indonesia so this is kind of similar as you know i like to i like brands that are have good construction and craftsmanship and one of the ways you do that is by getting with artisans who have good craftsmanship. So in a previous episode, I um, in a previous episode, I featured Agua by Agua Bandidia, which is a Colombian brand that uses Colombian artisans. Well, this is an Indonesian brand which uses Bali's um, artisans. So there are a lot of handmade garments. And so, of course, when that happens, not only do you have better quality, but oftentimes the price point is higher. But that's what it deems because of the craftsmanship. It's known for its um, vintage-inspired prints, flattering shapes, and unique pieces made for sun seekers and romantic dreamers. I started out to just do two, but I'm going to probably show you at least four. <laughs> that's how much I'm interested in this brand. So don't be surprised if you see some dresses from faithful the brand later on in some haul videos this dress is the louisa maxi dress and it's right here it's shown in the floral red but i want it in the elka floral so look at this blue Ooh. This is so cute. I love maxi dresses. I could just see this on my nice chocolatey skin. But this would look good on anybody. Whether you are lighter skin tone, darker skin tone, this would just look so good on anybody. It's floral print, but it's small floral. So it's not big floral patterns. Oh, so cute. And you can see how it's tied in the back. That is so sexy. I could just see myself on the beach wearing this with some nice slides or flip flops and a sun hat. That's how I would wear it. And if you notice, they showed a model, like different models. So different sizes of models so you can see how it looks. This particular girl's a little bit smaller framed. She's a little bit larger, more thick. So you can see how it looks on her and it looks beautiful on both body types this would look good on any body type actually and you can show off skin without showing off too much skin this is like a sexy sophisticated way of showing off skin now let's look at the fabric and garment care it's 100 percent rayon and it tells you what you need to do in order to it says hand wash on cold water so that's really simple don't tumble dry it so that's another thing pay attention to the fabrication of items so that's just one dress the Louisa maxi dress and the elka floral love that dress at 219 dollars now this next dress this is just so cute this is the summer maxi dress san vito stripe blue this is 309 dollars they have it in the solid color blue and they have it in stripes i prefer the stripes this is just so cute. We have a nice keyhole in the back. So again, you're showing off a little bit of skin, but not too much. The front covers up your chest, so you don't have to show off any boobs. You don't have to be worried about that. Very cute. It's a maxi length. So you can wear this. You can dress this up or dress it down. You can wear a sun hat. You can wear a visor. You could wear some lace up sandals if you want to like if you want to dress it up i can see this with some black stilettos like sandals a nice um wide brim black hat and a top handled bag that is a um a tote so cute so this fiber content this is a hundred percent linen and again, with the summertime, we love the linens, the cottons, the silks. 
So I love this. Ooh. I want this so bad. <laughs> I love this dress. Okay, so the next dress is the Valenza Maxi Dress in White. Now, you guys know, as I already said, I love white. This dress is just so cute to me. Again, with these dresses, if you notice, these are ageless. You can be a woman who is, you could be 20 years old watching this and wear these dresses, or you can be 50 years old watching this and wear this dress. Like, these dresses are so cute. Again, maxi length. We have splits on the side. This is just so elegant. And when it's white, white leaves you a blank canvas. So you can, there's so many options. You can keep it neutral, do all white accessories, or you could do new colored accessories. You could do white and black, or you can pair white with any color that you want. You could even do, because this is white, you can do all printed colored accessories. There's just a myriad of things you can do with white. In this particular dress i love this let's see what the fiber content is it's 100 percent linen so i love that and i love let's see what it looks like in the wheat Ooh, this wheat is pretty as well Ooh, i like this i like it in the wheat color too yeah this is really cute the only thing that would make this even better is if it had pockets. <laughs> that would be, that will take it up to a 10 out of 10. Okay, so the last dress I'm going to feature is this Tropics Maxi Dress in Black. This dress is so sexy. Now, all the other dresses we've been covering up the cleavage. Here, we're showing off cleavage. But again, if you wanted... You could add a lacy cami, maybe like a cami from NYC under here that has the lace. I love this, but it's still showing off, but in an elegant sort of way. Look at the back. Ooh, so cute. And again, they show models in different sizes. So you've got to get an idea of how it might look on you. Different angles, you can tie the tie so many different ways. And again, these are, these are all shown casually, but you can dress these up as well for a nice like summer event. This is 55% linen and 45% rayon. So this is a mixed fabric, fiber content. Everything will be linked in the description box below. And if you missed any of the previous episodes of the dress, then click this video right here so you can watch the previous episode. See you over there.